morning. How are you today? Just fine. Well, this is wonderful that you're giving us the opportunity to come into your lovely home. And you say this is uh, on the National Historic Register. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I see some of your works here hanging on the walls. Yeah. And this is one of your late husband's, Louis's works, right? Right. And you I, have lived in Taos how long? Well, June this year. Uh -huh. It's 50 years <laughs> I've been in Taos. I can hardly believe it. Yeah. Time <laughs> flies. The time went. So, but, so you sort of celebrate D-Day as uh, yeah. deciding it's to come to Taos, Taos Day, yeah. huh? And the same 50 years. Yeah. That's amazing, it's isn't it? D-Day. Right. It's B-Day. Uh, B-Day today, right. <laughs> Not a B-Day. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I see that uh, these are some of your works. And you've been painting like this most of your life. Most of my life. Uh -huh. And uh, I will show you some of the work from the 40s and the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, a total experience. Excellent. Now, the, what and I, the other? Uh -huh. Now, what I wanted to say is certainly uh, I was a recognized painter before I came here. If I lived, stayed in New York, I certainly would have been a painter, but I would have painted differently. The fact that I stayed here all these years and I do this international kind of painting in the middle of cowboy and Indian art is really an exciting thing. Uh, and I think it's a miracle, and I don't know how it happened. <laughs> and how, you have, how you've continued, and I've talked with a number of people who admire you so much because there is that steadfastness uh, resolve to continue with the art form as you see and understand it. That's true. Now, the other thing that we will be looking at today is some of the collection that you have gathered from around the world in your travels, which, uh, and I noticed that, uh, and I'm just going to show a few of those here. We see a, oh, is that a Mayan piece on the fireplace? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. No, it's a uh, Yagul. It's from Mexico. Uh -huh. It's uh, near Oaxaca. Near Oaxaca? Uh, and then over on the, on the other one, we have... Um, I have just many, uh, well, many beautiful pieces. I mean, pieces. like this is from New Guinea, and this is from China. This is pre-Columbian, mm -hmm. and this is from Romania. And and uh, and the other thing that I also you've mentioned is that you paint. Many of your works are inspired by your travels. Definitely. So. Shall we walk into the next room and take yeah, a look at okay. it? Okay. All right. You didn't want to see more of these things. Well, we can. Okay. Now, I remember the first time I walked into here, uh, my mind was just boggled by the amount of work that uh, B has done, and you can see. One of the reasons I stayed here is because I love this house, and I have two studios, and which is works out fine for me. Mm -hmm. Now this is 10 years of work in here. Now are there some particular pieces we, what are the, the ones right behind us? Yeah, We're, why don't you? Let's talk about them, right. yeah. Um, this is my latest series that I'm working on. I just came back from Turkey and I seem to be inspired by my experience in Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, these are older pieces. But, um, and when were they painted? Well, this would be about five years ago. Mm -hmm. That would be... And what would the theme of the one in front of us be? Uh, it's part of the beginning of the carnival series. Uh-huh. Is that... Were you in Brazil at carnival? Yeah. or? Uh, no, Mexico. Yeah, well, it, I was in Brazil. I was at, up the Amazon. Oh, wow. <laughs> and... Uh, now, as we look at these... Now, an uneducated eye will say, I see a lot of color. I see a lot of lines, but it's hard to say, why would this be inspired by Turkey and this be inspired by Carnival? 
and, uh, and what are the things that you were well, bringing up? Well, the important thing is that I live on three time dimensions at one time. I, um, I have an experience and it takes me at least two years to work through in my head. And when it's ready to come out, it just comes out. And also, I'm thinking about what I'm painting is something I experienced a couple of years ago. So I'm experiencing new things and painting older things, and I'm living in the present, like doing the mundane things of living. <laughs> Definitely, right. <laughs> Well, it, it's fascinating to see the amount of work you do. It's, now, this, uh, this is called the Rio Grande Quartet. And I spent at least three years doing it. Can you stop a minute? Yes, I want to move it closer sure. together. All right, we'll Just do that. A minute. And this, and so this is inspired by living here. Living here, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. And uh, now I see some stairs that you could, uh, in the second yeah. piece, that remind me of the pueblos. And you know, I the more you look at the work, the more you see. I can see some feelings of the. The cliffs of the uh, of the gorge itself, and uh, uh, as you have worked on these, do you is it like a poem where you hope people will? Oh, I write a lot of poetry. Uh huh. Oh. What more could you say about these? I've always been interested in prehistory and the uh, geological formations and uh, uh, and it's the dynamics of that that what's happened I abstracted and work it out till I get my feeling of of the land I um, Now you have been I use an international uh, attitude mm -hmm. toward my painting. Mm -hmm. It's not at all regional, and yet it comes out of my experience living here. Uh, Which is almost um, it's really a necessity. the The experience of being here has been what has formed the art community of Taos over the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in all the years that I've lived here, there hasn't been anybody here working like this. There, I don't have a support system, and I don't have, uh, I have never met in all the years I've lived here anybody that uh, worked like this or thought like this. Mm -hmm. it, in your travels, and you've certainly met some of the finest artists uh, in this century. Yeah. Um, if you had not lived here, where do you think you would have found that support? In New York, or oh, would it have been? Uh -huh. Definitely. And and who would have been some of the artists that uh, may have contributed, or who have contributed to what you're doing? Well, I come out of the period of I knew. Pollock, we shared a house together, and I knew De Kooning and uh, Gorky out of that period. Wow. I have abstract expressions. I have a very interesting history because I've touched on so many different periods. You know, I, I studied in Paris. I was part of the Bauhaus. I was part of the New York School, and, uh, and then living here all these years. Uh, but I do feel I have my own voice, and you I'm definitely. saying, I think uh, the most interesting time in Taos was in the 50s. 
that was when the most creative work was being done here. And of that whole period, I think I was the most original. Uh-huh. And I still think I'm original. Where did you and Louis uh, meet? What did uh, I your, You and your husband, where did you meet? It, was where it, did we meet? In it New was York. In New York. Was it uh, involved in the arts that you... Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. he, was, he was a famous artist right. at that time. Uh -huh. And... Uh, we both, we came out here to paint just for one year. And my husband fell in love with this place and never wanted to leave. I mean, this is it. And so we stayed. And what's interesting is that we were able to do the whole thing with no money. <laughs> <laughs> As a lot of artists do when they come to Taos, right? <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, neither of us had a private income. We just sort of did it. Excellent. Excellent. And, uh, what else? I would like to show you a few of the things of the 40s and the 50s. Wonderful. Let's go, let's go look at those. And I'll show them. I have them right here ready okay. for you. Great. Right. Well, now, this was done over 30 years ago. Uh huh. Can you see it? Yes, yes. But it really hasn't changed. You know, that is, that's what's interesting. Should I take it away so you get the whole thing? All right, well. Now, you say this painting was done about 30 years ago? And was it done here in Taos? Yes, it was. Everything. I don't paint when I go on travels. I do it all in the studio. Oh, you do? I'm a studio painter. And what would the theme of this painting be? What? What is the theme of this? <laughs> 30 years in Taos. <laughs> it says so. Uh -huh. I call it white time. White time? Mm -hmm. I like it. You see some of the... Um... I'll show you some of the others of that period. All right. We'll take a look at it then. <laughs> now this, you say, is of the Happiness series? Well, yes. we're, we're going out of focus. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm having trouble. There we go. Okay. Uh-huh. This is interesting. Um, I recently... Uh, photograph the new works by Agnes Martin, and they were quite minimal, a great deal of white. This reminds me of that in a sense. Uh -huh. And I want to show people uh, your husband's work, which would also be about the same period. Uh, this is one of Louis's paintings. We're getting it's a drawing. A drawing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, very, very nice. Now, these were done about uh, 20 years ago. Oh, more. At least... Forty years ago. Really? Wow. Yeah, I like it. It's What's very interesting lovely. is that they really hold up. Definitely. And that's the exciting thing uh -huh. about it, because. Um, well, this is an exciting inventory too. Now this was done 1945. Well, that was the year I was born. Yeah, okay. And we're celebrating, we're celebrating 50 years. We're celebrating your birth. All <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Yeah, this looks like something that was just done. It's just well, that's, very recent. Well, that's what's so exciting yeah. about my work, I oh. think. And as you can see, this is a multi-dimensional piece. And this was done in 1945. Was this done here, or was it done before you came to town? I, I originally did this as the three cultures. Uh-huh. Uh, three. But I, I've always done, like, see, all my work now is either diptychs or triptychs. I mean, I seem to like to do it that way, and I do it that way because I'm interested in two sides of the coin, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? It, it, it's nice to look at these and 
There is one aspect of art, and it's one of the sad aspects, where people will go into a gallery and say, you know I have a couch that's going to match a certain color yeah. and all, and yet as I walk through the home here, and I have seen the way you have some of these, uh, the modernist abstract paintings with the very classical, with the folk art, it blends so beautifully. Um, and I, I was just looking at the, at the plants here and that piece behind it. What is that? Uh, uh, it's one of my early pieces uh -huh. from the 40s. Oh, and it just, it just fits so beautifully and it's, uh, it's certainly as uh, well, contemporary as the works you did yesterday. Well, that's what's <laughs> interesting about me. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, this took me 20 years to do. Really? I mean, uh, yeah. And so. what is this? What, what, what well, is the theme a of this? Well, I, I realize that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It looks like you changed your mind a few times with this. Huh? One. You, you had a change of mind. There's a yeah. layering of paint on it, this it's one. It's so that's... heavy you can't lift it. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I like it. It's very it has to do with the search. Uh-huh. I uh, see. Yeah. And don't get my wrinkles. No, I don't. We don't get wrinkles on okay. this camera. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me show you something. Okay, we're going to go take a look at yeah. something else here. And then we'll... Here's an interesting painting. Can you get this yes. now? Yes. Uh -huh. How it looks in the studio. The Right. And what is this? Is this one of the newer works? Oh, I've been working on it a long time. It's part of the Rio Grande Quartet series. Uh-huh. Now, I can actually feel the mesa and the gorge on the yeah. first part. And so is that. Mm hmm Yeah, you really sort of get the feeling of the fields and the landscape. That's interesting. Well, I'm because... a great nature lover. Uh -huh. And I, I go out to nature all the time. Here's, um, I'd like you to take this. Oh, I like this. So vivid, the colors. And this is uh, part of your turkey. Experience. Well, yeah, I finished it mm -hmm. after I came back from Turkey. Mm -hmm. Great colors. And having been to Turkey, I can feel some of that similarity. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, good. I, actually, with the, the colors and the dynamics and uh, mm -hmm. even the confusion that, that is part of Turkey today, <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, oh. and I, want, I want you to do this. All right. And this is? This is earlier. This is. I don't know, I didn't name it yet. Well, we'll call it This Is oh, it's Earlier. It's part of the Leaf series. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I think we people would enjoy uh, taking a little trip to your the other studio here in the house. Should we walk out there and... Oh yeah, but wait a minute. Okay. I just want to... I want to take this. Hold on. I'd like to take this. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's dynamic. And this also is part of the Leaf series. This is part of the Leaf series. Yeah, I can see that, definitely. Yeah, that's beautiful. And is this something you've worked on relatively recently, or? Well, this was all last summer. I see. Very, very nice. Well, I think you're helping our eyes to, to see oh, more. Well, let's see what else. Just Take a whole picture of the whole room. We've gotten a panorama, and there's quite a lot to see here. Well, that's the idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just take the whole uh, room. 
Now this is one of your collages. That's a collage uh -huh. I did in Mexico. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. It's terrific when you think of all this work in <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> truly, truly, there's a lot here. I really work every day. And I hear your... Uh, uh, there are some galleries in New York that are very interested in having you be a part of them now. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. That's excellent. Oh, and I see a, a head from the Day of the Dead. Yes, let me just show it to you because it's so great. Yeah, that's a good one. This is from Afghanistan. Uh huh. And how many countries do you think you've been in? Huh? How many countries do you think you've traveled in? I don't know. You haven't counted. Huh? I think I'll take a bicycle and follow you. All right. <laughs> see. Uh... Well, this is fabulous. I appreciate you letting us uh, view your studio, or this first studio. Let's take a look at the other one, okay? Okay. All right. But I wanted to show you something else. Okay, let's. The 70s and, uh... Okay. We'll look at the works from the 70s. Here, you can... This is right. of the 50s, but that's okay. You can right. do that. Put it on. This is from the 50s. This is from the 70s. Yeah, wait a minute. This uh -huh. is the 50s. Right. 50s. That's right. the 70s. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh... This is 80, the beginning of 80. Okay. Fascinating. I'm showing you all these uh -huh. different ones. Wait a minute, different kind. Right. This is this is the 70s. Let's see. Awesome. Take that out. Okay. And it's very obvious you that you really work the canvas. It's yeah. not okay. uh, just a little hit and miss. Huh? It's not a hit and miss. It's a no. definitive, okay. real. And the important thing is that everything really holds up. Yeah, uh, that's, truly. That's what's truly. surprising. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the only way you can judge paintings is if. Again, we're back to the work from 1945. Yeah, okay. One of the first and, ones. Um, I'd like to show you some of the bigger pieces. Okay, well. Watercolor. You work yeah. in acrylics, watercolor, yeah. and oils? No, or? I work acrylic now, just acrylic. Mm -hmm. Very lovely piece. And this is from 1987. Yeah. I did a whole series on jazz. Uh, I had a big show of that. This is... This oh, is I like that. An early collage. Uh-huh. Here's... I'm showing... I did... Here's a, this is 1952? Yeah. Wow. I see the corrugated cardboard, and it's a collage yeah. of yeah. different uh, different pieces and papers. Right. Very nice. Very nice. But there's a, there's a consistency through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Definitely. Now we're going to walk into the other studio, and as we do, just going to show you a bit of the collection. Some of these icons are from, from Greece and from, oh, we've got magnificent pieces from all over the world here, and another one of V's works. I like that, that oval painting. And, uh... You can take all those. Mm-hmm.
now we, we are in the uh, old dining room. It's a great house here. Huh? Really, this is a great house. I like the way it is. And I notice you uh, enjoy your flowers, too. Yeah. I'm always surrounded by flowers. Uh -huh. Some people only have one bouquet on their table. I always have 50. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to move the flowers when you dine. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is such a beautiful home. And, uh... When is this painting? Uh, oh, period? it's... I've been working on it for a couple of years. I, I finished it last year. Uh-huh. But I don't know, it sort of goes with the whole thing, yeah. don't well, you? Well, it's very nice on, yeah, I, <laughs> great works here. That yeah. thing I got in the Amazon. Uh-huh. And you know, it's so similar, even though they're more representational, the colors and the, the movement is so similar to the work you do. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, all this is folk art that I, uh-huh. Now you say this is the best example of folk art. This is from New Mexico. Right here, Taos. It is. Yeah. Who did that, do you know? Well, I don't know. It's That's very great, old. It but... is. It's a great piece. Well, I would never have thought this was from New Mexico. Most interesting. Now we see this lovely garden that's uh, going through some changes here and magnificent. Also, we're going to wander into your studio, right? Okay. But um, this is my storeroom, how much I've got. Well, I would say you have a painting or two. Okay. You can have a yeah. shot of this. No, this is great. Shall we uh, take a look in the studio? Yeah, okay. I like that. Now I'm sad to say we're running out of time on, on today's program, but uh, this is where you have painted for the last 50 years. Definitely. Fantastic. Huh? So these are my own. If these walls could talk. Private collection. I don't let anybody in see it. Just these are the things that inspire me. I see. And these have been done over the years, and yes. things that you you enjoy. Uh huh. I like it. This is such an airy room. That's, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh huh. And more flowers. These are my flowers. I, I grow them all winter. It's mm -hmm. just... Well, I, I, I can see they're happy. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and Coco's my best friend. Yeah. He Hi, Coco. He sits and watches everything. Yeah. Well, I can see, too, the inspiration you get from the view, from the flowers. Oh, yeah. I can see for 70 miles. Isn't that a nice view? Boy. Yeah. When we first lived here, the first 25 years, there was no houses, nothing here. And, uh, well, I, as... I mean, you can see what a mess. As, as uh, we look at your brushes and works, I must say I thank you so much, but as time has its constraints, this has been a wonderful interview. Thanks a lot, and okay. we'll be back and Did we'll talk some more. Oh, okay. And uh, I collect, here's some of the things I collect, well, seashells, uh -huh. and all these are... Uh, thank you. And these are the...